In this video, we are going to study successive differentiation. In the previous video, we have already derived some formulas of the nth derivative of some standard functions. So if you quickly recall the functions, the first one was y is equal to ax plus b raised to m. In the previous video, we have seen that the nth derivative comes out to be m factorial upon m minus n factorial into a power n into ax plus b raised to m minus n. The second was y equal to 1 upon ax plus b. So you just put m equal to minus 1. And then we got the second formula of yn. The yn was, this yn was given by minus 1 raised to n into n factorial a raised to n upon ax plus b raised to n plus 1. We also calculated the n derivative of log of ax plus b. This formula was yn is equal to minus 1 raised to n minus 1 a raised to n, n minus 1 factorial divided by ax plus b raised to n. We also calculated the nth derivative of a raised to mx. The formula was y n is equal to m raised to n, a raised to mx, log a raised to n. If you put a equal to e, we got the next formula e raised to mx was for this yn was m raised to n into e raised to mx. So now let's move forward. Now what we are going to do is in this video we are going to find the nth derivative of sin ax plus b. Okay and the similar calculation will go for cos ax plus b. So let's first so solve the problem y equal to ax plus b. So when I take the, so I want to find the nth derivative. So I want to find the formula for the nth derivative. So we will first find the first derivative. So the first derivative is sine derivative. The derivative of sine is cos ax plus b into a right we can replace this cos by sine so i'll write it as a into cos ax plus b i want to replace the cos by sine so i'll write a into sine ax plus b plus pi by 2 because we know that sine of theta plus pi by 2 is cos pi by cos theta so here I've used a formula, let me write it again. Cos theta is nothing but sine of theta plus pi by two. So this is working like your theta here, right? And this becomes your y1. And we can write y2 in general. If I do this for y2, I'm going to get a square sine ax plus b plus two times pi by two similar fashion right if i do y3 i'm going to get a cube sine ax plus b plus 3 pi by 2 in general i'm trying to tell you that yn is equal to a raised to n sine ax plus b plus n pi by 2 this is the nth derivative of the function sine ax plus b. And therefore, if you have y equal to cos ax plus b, in, sim in similar fashion, you're going to get the nth derivative is equal to a raised to n cos ax plus b plus n pi by 2. So these are the next two formulas in our list now we'll go to a slightly complicated function so let me take y equal to 
e raised to ax sine of bx plus c. So I'm taking multiplication of exponential function and sine function. And then I'm interested in what is the nth derivative of this function, right? So let's go by a routine procedure. So let's find the first derivative. I'm going to use a product rule here. So e raised to ax as it is, the derivative of sine is cos bx plus c plus the into b plus the derivative of e raised to ax will be a e raised to ax into sine bx plus c. Right now here we have to do a little bit careful calculation. So what we will do is we will substitute a and b. So I'm going to substitute some very special things for a and b. So for a, I'm going to write r cos theta. And for b, I'm going to write r sine theta. Then the above expressions, expression y1 becomes e raised to ax into cos bx plus c into r sine theta because I have a b here plus a is r cos theta into sine of bx plus c. Correct? So now this looks like what? This looks like this. So e, e power ax is first of all common and r is also common. And now this looks like something sine bx plus c cos theta plus, so these two terms are covered, cos bx plus c into sine theta. So these two terms are also covered. So this will be equal to, so y1 will be equal to e raised to ax into r. And now this looks like in, in the fashion, this is in the fashion, sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. This is looking like cos a sine b. And this is sine a cos b. Right? But we know what is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. It is equal to sin of a plus b. What is your a over here? Your a is bx plus c. And what is your b here? Capital B is taken as theta. So this will become e raised to ax into r sin bx plus c plus theta. So this becomes the expression of what? This becomes the expression of y1. And therefore, I will continue the same thing. And when I simplify y2, what I expect is e raised to ax into r square sine bx plus c plus two times theta. If I write y3, what will I get? I, I will get e raised to ax r cube sine bx plus c plus three theta. In general, what am I going to get? Yn is equal to e raised to ax r raised to n sine bx plus c plus n theta. So if my y is e raised to ax sine bx plus c, we have derived the formula for yn, the nth derivative will be e raised to ax r raised to n bx plus c plus n theta. So similarly, if I have y is equal to e raised to ax, cos bx plus c 
obviously the sign is going to get replaced by cos then similar we can prove that it is e raised to ax r raised to n cos bx plus c plus n theta so this becomes your second formula you have to be very careful that what was your a equal to if you recall what is a equal to a is r cos theta and b is r sin theta therefore if i take a square plus b square i'm going to get r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta, theta. Is one so this is r square so a square plus b square will become r square and therefore the value of r is nothing but root of a square plus b square right what is the value of theta if i divide a and b so b by a will be r sine theta by r cos theta r cancels so i'm going to get b by a is tan theta and the value of theta in the above expression is what tan inverse b by a what is the value of r in the above expression here you have r value of r is root a square plus b square what is the value of theta in this expression the value of theta is tan inverse of b by a okay so let's take one simple problem related to this so i if i am having y is equal to e raised to 2x sin 3x plus 2 say i am interested in what is the nth derivative let's take n instead of n let's take let's find the tenth derivative of this so here clearly if i compare with my standard formula i have e raised to ax sin bx plus c and i have a formula for yn so your n is 10 a is 2, b is 3, and c is also 2. What is the formula for yn? You know yn is equal to, if you remember the formula for yn, it was given by r raised to n, e raised to ax, sine bx plus c plus n theta. So here your yn becomes r raised to here y 10 becomes we have to find the 10th derivative r raised to 10 e raised to 2x sine 3x plus 2 c is 2 plus 10 theta what is your r and theta we know that r is given by square root of a square plus b square so r is square root of 2 square plus 3 square which is root 14 and your theta is tan inverse b by a so your theta is tan inverse 3 by 2 and therefore my n tenth derivative for the given question will become root 14 because it is r raised to 10 and substituting it here e raised to 2x sine 3x plus 2 plus 10 into tan inverse 3 by 2. So this becomes your nth, tenth derivative of the given function. Okay, let me take one more example. I'm interested in finding the if let me take say so y is equal to e raised to 7x i'm interested in finding the 15th derivative of e raised to 7x and the formula which we have done in the previous class in the previous lecture you know if y is e raised to mx then the formula for nth derivative was m raised to n e raised to mx so by this formula it is clear that e raised to 7x, the 15th derivative will become m, here is 7, and n, which is the 15th derivative. So it is 7 raised to 15, 
e raised to 7x will be the 15th derivative of the given function. If I take y is equal to sine 5x and I'm interested in finding the 20th derivative of sine of 5x, we know that by formula y which is equal to sine bx plus c the nth derivative was given by sine ax plus b you can see the formula above we have derived this a raised to n sine ax plus b plus n pi by 2 we have proved this formula above so in that case here a is 5 b is 0 n is 20 so i want to find the 20th derivative so y20 from this formula will become 5 raised to 20 because a is 5 n is 20 sine 5x plus b is 0 plus 20 n is 20 20 times pi by 2 which is 10 pi so it is 5 raised to 20 sine 5x plus 10 pi and we know that sine of theta plus 2 pi is sine theta so this will become 5 raised to 20 sine of just 5x because we know that sine of theta is 2 pi is same as sine theta so sine theta plus 2 pi k is also sine theta so therefore 10 pi is a multiple of 2 pi so sine of 5x plus 10 pi will become sine of 5x let's take one more question if i have y is equal to x square minus 1 upon x x square plus 1 upon x square minus 1 I'm interested in the nth derivative of x squared plus 1 upon x squared minus 1. Now, this doesn't fit in any of our previous formulas. Then how am I going to find the nth derivative? If you carefully observe, this y can be smartly written as x squared plus 1 upon x plus 1 into x minus 1. And I'm going to do the partial fractions of this ax plus 1 plus b x minus 1 and then using the method of partial fractions i'm going to find a so i'm going to put x square plus 1 upon x minus 1 and i'm going to substitute the value of here is x minus x equal to minus 1 so this will be 1 plus 1 upon minus 1 minus 1 so this will be minus 1 for b using the method of partial fractions we know how to find b you take x squared plus 1 upon x plus 1 and substitute here x equal to 1 so you will get 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 which is 2 by 2 which is 1 so this means that y can be written as a this a is minus 1 upon x plus 1 plus b so i'm substituting a and b here b is 1 upon x minus 1 therefore the nth derivative i'm interested to find now we know from our previous lecture that if you have the function y equal to 1 upon ax plus b the nth derivative is given by minus 1 raised to n n factorial a raised to n upon ax plus b raised to n plus 1 right this is from the previous class we have done this so what do you think will be the nth derivative of this first person will be y n is equal to this minus 1 is as it is what is the derivative of 1 upon x plus 1 by this formula it will be minus 1 raised to n a so it is 1x so a is 1 b is also 1 in this part in this part what about a and b a is 1 and b is minus 1 right 
so I'm going to get minus 1 n factorial a raised to n means 1 raised to n upon ax plus b means x plus 1 raised to n plus 1 plus now I'm going to use the same formula for this part also so minus 1 raised to n n factorial 1 raised to n upon x minus 1 raised to n plus 1 right so this finally our end derivative if I write, try to write it simplified form this minus 1 and this minus 1 raised to n will become minus 1 raised to n plus 1 into n factorial upon this 1 raised to n is 1 x plus 1 raised to n plus 1 plus minus 1 raised to n n factorial 1 raised to n is 1 divided by x minus 1 raised to n plus 1 so this is the way you find the nth derivative of a function which is of the which is of the form something x square plus 1 upon x minus 1 so you have to smartly use your technique of partial fractions in the next video we are going to study about an important theorem which is called as the Leibniz theorem so in the next lecture we will study Leibniz theorem you will first take the proof of the theorem and then we will discuss some problems related to the Leibniz theorem.